All right, so uh, in this video, I want to go ahead and talk to you about call tracking. So once you have all the call tracking uh, set up, this is some of the data that you're able to track. You can start to see inside your business um, how many people have answered, uh, how many calls have been answered, how many have been missed, first time callers, um, the average duration of the calls. You'll be able to see the sources, um, the calls. You'll see all the calls in a list. And so um, in order to get this, this data uh, going, um, you're going to need to uh, set up a number pool. So inside of here, you want to go ahead and uh, create a number pool. Okay, so uh, generally speaking, what happens is you want to use a minimum of four numbers and um, you want to track the uh, highest uh, number, average number of people on a, on a website any given day. Um, and uh, take that number and you're looking at about a quarter of it. So generally speaking, four is going to be enough because what, what it does is it's literally going to be able to um, track each person with a separate phone number. So every time that somebody comes, so if there's, you know, if you average, you know, eight people on your website at any given moment, you're going to need a little bit more than, you know, eight numbers. But generally speaking, most people don't average that per, um, you know, per session. So you want to go into here and, and track uh, visitor activity. This will be the best one. Um, you're going to go into here, all visitors, and then next, uh, the pool name. So this will be maybe your, uh, you know, main website. So do your main website. And again, over here, you do have to do a minimum of four, but um, if you're looking for, you know, a mathematical formula is um, down here is, is basically the concurrent users at any given time. OK, so look at your peak traffic and you should be at least um, a quarter of the size of the peak traffic with a minimum of four. And then you want to go ahead in here and put in, you know, which which number you're going to forward to. So this would be your uh, either a cell phone or a, uh, an office phone or, or what where you want the numbers to be forwarded to. Um, the swapping number, this is the number that's going to be on your website. So whatever number that you have on your website or your landing page, um, you need to go ahead and put that number in here. So if for some reason I don't have my cell phone on my on my website and I have like a business phone number, maybe it's you know 781-444-5656, but I want the calls to be forwarded to the cell phone. So um, keep that in mind. And so what's going to happen is that you're literally going to purchase these numbers. It's through your Twilio account. It's going to cost a um, dollar per number. So keep that all in mind. And that's how this would all go. And simply you would, you would, you would click this button and purchase. I've already purchased. So I'm going to go ahead and show you uh, what you do next. After you purchase, you're going to simply just hop into this little I. And then this is where you'll go ahead and you will um, grab your script. So you simply um, are going to just go ahead and uh, copy this snippet code. And so you want to add this snippet code um, just above the closing body tag on each page. So simply you can go ahead and add this snippet code um, anywhere on a uh, page. So, Okay, so I hopped over here to our Digital Nomad Secrets. Um, you know, maybe you want to add your phone number to um, this page. You can add your, your phone number. Um, this would be that number that you had in there. But then simply all you want to do is just go and put a piece of tracking code. So you would need to add an element, add element, and then add a piece of code. And you can basically stick that anywhere. It's not going to show. Open up your code. And then you simply just go ahead and you're going to paste in your number. I'm sorry, your your snippet code that you got from the call tracking. Okay, so you're just going to paste that in, and we want to go ahead and save that, right? So we'll go ahead and we'll save uh, our code, okay? Okay, so now that we've saved our code, um, we can go ahead and remember this number right here. Um, this is the number that we had. Uh, we can simply preview our site, and when we do... Um, there, see that number just changed. That number changed over, and so now we have the uh, call tracking. So let's go ahead and give that a uh, a demo. Okay, so what I'm doing is I'm dialing right now just to give you a uh, an example. This way you can see it. 
And so now it's dialing the number that we've directed to do call forwarding. Hi, this is a test test for the demonstration, just so that you can hear it. And so um, we can go ahead now and jump back over to our stats and go preview this. Okay, and so we jump back into our dashboard and we can see now that another call was made and down here shows a list of all of the calls that came in. Uh, was it answered? Yes. Was it the first time? No. You can see that the number here, it was the first time there before. Um, so the, the next thing you can also do on this is when you click it, um, you can literally go in here and actually listen to the call. Okay, so what I'm doing is I'm dialing right now just to give you a, an example. This way you can see it. So you can actually hear it on both ends from... And so now it's dialing the number that we've directed to do call forwarding. This is a test, test for the demonstration, just so that you can hear it. And so there you have it. That is how the call tracking um, can benefit your business.